So two pastry chefs, one also being a chocolatier, got married and started Pure Chocolate Company in 2017. Um, four years or so later, new and great things are happening. We welcome back to Smile Jamaica, Warta Chirtes, co-owner and co-founder of Pure Chocolate Company. My friend, good to see you once again. How are you? Good, good, good. Thank you for having me again. I really appreciate it. Yeah, it's our pleasure to have you. Tell me, tell me the start. Tell me why you started the, a chocolate company in the first place. We, kn we knew that uh, uh, Jamaica has one of the top cocoa beans in the world. Um, you know, some of the, the finest quality cocoa beans you can find, and then they were heavily underutilized. Now, my wife and myself are both uh, pastry chefs, and we figured, you know what, let's let's try to create that added value for the con uh, for the country. So instead of just selling cocoa beans overseas, now we're selling uh, a, a finished product. Yeah. So it, it brings added value. Oh, how do you make chocolate? It's quite a long process, actually. So you first harvest the beans. Um, uh, you need to ferment them and dry them. That takes about 14 days. Then you need to roast them. Uh, after roasting, you need to take the little skins off. And then uh, you'll have cocoa nibs, as we call it. Then you make a recipe with these cocoa nibs. And uh, you grind that in a big machine that grinds for about 24 hours. That's the grinder right there. Right. Um, for 24 hours, and then after that, you uh, temper the chocolate, which is a technique to make sure that your chocolate gets nice and snappy and shiny, like like we want it. Yeah. And you can mold it into a into a mold and make a chocolate bar out of it, like you see over there. Yeah. What do you mean by treat to bar? Right. So there's there's different distinctions. Um, there is bean to bar and there's treat to bar. When you have bean to bar chocolates, the chocolate maker will buy the beans. Uh, fermented and dried, and then make chocolate out of it. When you say tree to bar, it means that we're controlling the whole process. So we really make the chocolate from the tree to the bar, um, and each step is, is is controlled by us so that you can uh, um, make sure you get the highest quality. Yeah. And due to the fact that we do that, we have won some awards. Yeah, I noticed you have won some awards. And what about jerk seasoning in chocolate? Where did that, Which come, was where did that quite come from? Yeah, quite interesting. Well, I see, I see your face, and, <laughs> and that, that happened a lot when we started it. It's quite interesting because um, last year we've submitted all our bars to the International uh, um, Academy of Chocolate Awards in London, and the jerk nearly didn't make it because, indeed, locally people said, you know what, this might be a little too much out of the box. And then my wife, Renee, who's, of course, the, the brains behind the uh, uh, operation, said, no, you know what? We're still going to send it over and, and see what happens. And, well, we want a gold award. So the fun, it, it's quite interesting to see that, that flavor palettes are different in uh, everywhere in the world, of course. Yeah. Um, and in London, they really appreciated the jerk chocolate. Um, it, it's something different. Yeah. Um, chocolate and spices is, is something quite common. Um, it's quite common. Right, chocolate and spices is quite common, but yeah, jerk chocolate, uh, um, yeah, it works. It works really well. Yeah, and as reading says, it took you about eight recipe development rounds to find the right balance between the bitter right. of the chocolate and the salty spiciness of the jerk seasoning. So what, what do you do? Um, did you actually make one, taste it and say, oops, no good, throw it out, make another one, taste absolutely. it and say, oops, that's what happened? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, no, the first one was way too spicy. That was That was... Flaming hot couldn't work, and and of course when you're developing a recipe, it needs to uh, um, meet most palates. Um, so yeah, we had to chuck a bunch of batches before we got the right recipe. Yeah, it says the 70% dark chocolate with cinnamon is created with the warm flavor of locally sourced cinnamon, carefully balanced with rich notes of dark chocolate. Why that sound like you're supposed to eat chocolate every day all day? <laughs> um, What's interesting about that one, so what we're trying to do is do as much as possible locally and also touch as much, uh, much as possible local uh, um, uh, communities and, and farms and artists. But um, so we're walking on the farm in the cocoa fields and I see a, a cinnamon tree. So I asked the farmer, do you have a couple more? And he said, yeah, I have a couple. So we tried to uh, um, incorporate that into the chocolate. It worked really well. So it's fresh cinnamon. Um, and, and yet again, that one won a prize. It's, it's a bronze winner. Yeah. Yeah. Um, forgive my ignorance, what's the difference between chocolate and dark chocolate? The difference between chocolate and dark chocolate? Well, dark chocolate mean, indicates that there's no milk powder to it, there's no other additives to it. So in our case, when you have dark chocolate, there's only two ingredients. It's just cocoa beans and sugar, nothing else added. 
So in that way, you also know that it's a healthier product. So when you want to buy a proper chocolate bar, what I always advise people to do is look on the back, uh, look at the ingredients and make sure less ingredients is always better. Okay. Um, because once they start adding additives like milk powder and stuff like that, it gets less healthy. So having said that, I, I know the jerk seasoning, are there different flavors? Because I know like chocolate, you have nuts in them, some of them have fruits in them, some of them just straight milk chocolate. So you have different flavors in what you do? We have 10 different flavors right now. So we have lemongrass, um, we, you can see it here behind me, yeah? we have the lemongrass, uh, we have cinnamon, we have a bar with coffee, we have a bar with coconut. Um, you see the coffee right there, yeah. yeah. And you uh, jerk seasoning. We also we also cater to the regular palate, eh? um, so we have a regular dark chocolate. And now we have actually introduced two new bars because we've learned, of course, that you know the Jamaican palate and the Caribbean palate is tends to be a little sweeter. Yeah. So we've introduced our first two milk chocolate bars, um, oh. um, a cookies and cream bar and a milk chocolate with vanilla and sea salt. Yep. And when you taste the different flavors, you can actually taste a different flavor in it? Like you can taste the cinnamon and you can taste the, the Oh, coconut. absolutely, absolutely, okay. absolutely. When, when I make a chocolate bar or when, whenever we make any product, if I promise you this is a cinnamon chocolate bar, then you're gonna taste the cinnamon, absolutely. It's not just a, a slight hint, but I want you to taste what you're buying because otherwise, um, uh, you know, you yeah. might, might feel cheated out of a flavor. Yeah, you went to a trade show recently in Paris, so what was that like? That was amazing. That was amazing. Um, trade show in Paris was a big success. Um, we were the uh, there were two uh, chocolate makers from uh, uh, from the region, uh, us included. Uh, it was a huge success, and um, we actually sold. It was a five day event. We sold out in four days, and we actually got our product in two stores in France right away. So it does goes to show that. Uh, uh, Europe and other markets are ready for our products. Okay. So that was, that, was, that was amazing. Brilliant. As we come to the end, double barrel question, where can we get the chocolate and what's next for you guys? Right, so where can you get the chocolate? You can get it in most Fontanas. Um, you can find it at the Butcher Block. And what's next for us, you can actually find it in our, in our own new store. We have a store now in Ocho Rios, in Island Village. There's a big... Um, 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 movement going on in Island Village where everything is being revamped and we're part of the revamp. So we have a store in Island Village, there you go, um, where you can actually come and buy the chocolate, you can do a workshop, you can do a tasting. Um, so there's going to be a lot of fun uh, going on there. And it's only chocolate in there, only chocolate. Chocolate, but you can also think about, you know, um, we're going to have the best chocolate, chocolate chip cookie you can ever find, the best brownie, um, but it's going to be mainly chocolate, yes. Yep. Great to see you, Walter. Blessings to you and your family. Look after yourself. Thank you so much. Yep, co-founder of Pure Chocolate Company. And uh, his name is Walter Chertes. All right, so we're going to take a break and we come back. Still a little more left on Smile. Stay with us, please. Soon come.